In a tight election race, the major parties are desperate to peer into the minds of the swinging voters that are kingmakers. How are you? Yeah, great to see you. You too, pleased to meet you. It's been revealed how the Liberal Party's doing it through a secret software program called Feedback that MPs use to track information on their constituents. Uh, the purpose that's not so legitimate is basically uh, the parties, and in the case of Feedback it's the Liberal Party, but the Labor Party's got a similar um, program. Basically they suck up all of that information. People, what their issues are, what their voting intentions might be, etc, etc. And obviously of concern is, you know, you have sensitive information in Feedback that uh, constituents may very well not want you to have. Every time you walk into your local MP's office, call them or sign a petition to talk about your local hospital or school, that information is logged and stored. As well as some of it being personal and sensitive, there's concerns about how the database is paid for through a taxpayer-funded subsidy. The Liberal program Feedback is designed by a company called Parakelia. It's registered in the same office as the Federal Liberal Party and wholly owned by it. Its directors include the party's boss, Tony Nutt, and former minister, Richard Alston. Disendorsed Liberal MP Dennis Jensen says he was told to pay $2,500 to buy access to feedback and that most other MPs were required to do the same, giving the company a lucrative revenue source, funded out of MPs' electorate allowances paid for by the taxpayer. It was a very clear understanding. Uh, there's uh, feedback training provided to staff members and basically the training is um, to use it as a database uh, politically rather than uh, to assist uh, constituents. Indeed, the instruction given by feedback trainers is that if there's not a vote in it, don't do it. What's really raised eyebrows is that Parakelia is also funneling that revenue back to the Liberal Party through political donations. Last financial year, it was the party's second biggest donor, chipping in half a million dollars. All up, it's donated more than one million dollars to the party. I think the, um, the funneling of public money back into political parties for campaigning is concerning. I think it is completely against the spirit, if not the letter of the law. This is the Feedback User Manual. Its first page instructs staff to keep its contents secret, saying, we do not discuss feedback outside of the office. Dennis Jensen is furious with the Liberals for disendorsing him in his Perth seat. He's now running against them and is attacking his former party. The legitimate use is not the main use. And, uh, and as proof of that, uh, the taxpayer has paid for my feedback until November this year, yet the Liberal Party has removed my access to feedback and have given it, for instance, to uh, uh, given access to the Liberal Party candidate in my electorate. The Liberal Party says the lack of access is due to technical issues. The government's Cabinet Secretary, Arthur Sinodinos, struggled to explain feedback in an interview late last night saying he was unsure if taxpayers had shelled out for his office to use feedback. Have you used your, you used your allowance, your taxpayer-funded allowance? Well, I'd have to check, but I think I would have, yes. Why? I beg your pardon? Why? Well, that, that, that would be used to, to provide information on uh, which we gather on electors and the like, and we use it to try and do our electorate business. All right, and that's a legitimate use of uh, taxpayer allowance? I'm not quite sure what you're getting at there. I'm just wondering whether it's a legitimate use of taxpayer funds. I don't know anything about it. Yeah, I, I believe it is, yes. Finance Minister and campaign spokesman Matthias Corman defended the program this morning. The uh, work expenses arrangements uh, that you refer to apply equally to all members of parliament uh, across the board uh, and I think you'll find uh, that the arrangements uh, that uh, are accessed in terms of the relevant software by Liberal members and senators are the same 
as those accessed by Labour members uh, and senators and indeed are accessible by all members of parliament on the same basis. The Labour Party has its own similar program called Campaign Central. It was developed by an independent software company that does not appear to donate back to the party. Even so, the programs caused the ALP trouble during the campaign. Former Labor boss Jamie Clements has been charged with illegally accessing voter details via Campaign Central, and the case was mentioned before a registrar this week. Mr Clements denies the charges. Political experts say the parties are given privileged information to our personal details, and voters even have to pay for the privilege. They are a distortion of the democratic process. I think most people wouldn't accept that this is legitimate. And when we start to see the large amount of monies that move around, people do get concerned.